Our final bout this evening is five three-minute rounds for the WKO world title. Matched at 79k and sponsored by Profound Products. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, Jordan the Prophecy Smith. And would you welcome his opponent into the red corner, Nick Samways. Minute rounds for the WKO world title. And in the blue corner, he weighed in at 79.8K. He has had 12 fights, 11 wins, and only one loss. He represents KO Next Generation. He is the challenger, Jordan the Prophecy Smith. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 79.2K, 13 fights, 10 wins, only three losses. He represents the Combat Academy. He is the current and defending WKO World Champion, Nick Samuels. Your referee for this one, Mr. Chris Batchelgore. The WKO world title is on the line in the main event at the Super Fight Series at London's York Hall. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds if necessary. Defending champion Nick Samways fighting out of St. Albans and Combat Gym. Samways in the red corner, the challenger from KO South. From Thornton Heath here in Greater London, Jordan the Prophecy Smith. And Chris, we've seen both these men on numerous occasions and they're both worthy of this title here. We've seen Jordan very recently and Nick is an absolute powerhouse on paper. This is an incredible matchup for the, for the world title, title currently owned by Sam Ways. And we've seen both guys before. Malcolm put on great displays over three, five round fights even. Jordan has a very different take to Sam Ways. Sam Ways more of a traditional tie stylist. Watch out for those KO Next Generation tricks. Obviously, two great camps. I mean, it's just such a treat to see both these guys clash in the main event here in London tonight. Now, what surprised me, Chris, is we know that Smith is a very slick operator. I've never seen him coming in so hard and hurtful so early, but this is the thing about Nick Samways. He's always controlled, he's always calm, but he's got one punch knockout power. It's that simple. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of boxing into the clinch from Smith. That might be the strategy. Samways has got wicked kicks. So they probably want this one in or out. And even if they have to hang in the clinch a little bit, throw the odd knee, get the separation, they'll do that. And as I said to you, I've, we've seen Smith on a number of occasions, and he's very slick. He's a great mover, but a different style from here tonight. Much more aggressive, taking the fight to the champion. But I've seen Nick Samways. And although he's hard and hurtful, he works at a pace and then suddenly he can hit you and you are out cold. Yeah, Samway's a strong reputation for being just great. Yeah, he's oh, oh, he's oh, locked him. He's Big locked up there. Wow. He's got a reputation for just being able to find the mark. He's just such an accurate striker. And that's the thing. You lose the points battle with him. And to be honest, you can lose the power punching exchanges too. But as you saw here, even though 
Jordan was rocked. He doesn't get carried away. He doesn't go charging in. He keeps that pace. He stays at that pace, but he's just so hurtful. And again, no rushing in from the champion, just hard. And there's a mouse already under the right eye of Jordan. As the pat he smiles, but these shots are coming in heavy, Chris. Smith is in trouble here, Malk. Samways can be smart. He's got time. He can pick him apart here. Choose your shots. And he caught Jordan again there. Jordan being warned for the holding because of, of the clinch situation here. But Samways is a machine. And Jordan's said, got to survive this round here. He wants to run the clock and just get back to his corner and reset. You're right, Chris. Samways won't change. And here they come in again. He won't chase it. He won't suddenly rush. He won't throw punches. To, uh, right. And he's caught him again with that right hand. And that's why Jordan held. What an opening this is going to be for the champion. And this is why he's so brutal, Chris. Popping jab there from Samways. Smith trying to use some head movement and pull into the clinch and tie him up. Seconds to go. There's the end. That was a long first round for Jordan Smith. Nick Samways putting in clean, clinical, and destructive work. And Chris, what's more frightening is we know the ability of Jordan Smith. He's hard to hit. He's elusive. He picks you up on the counter. And already he's got a mouse under his right eye. Samways never looks as if he's working hard or fast. Now, this is the thing I said to you. This is different. This is the first time we see Smith. That there it was, Chris. You can't ignore that raw power. Beautiful little short left. That gorgeous, gorgeous punch, which is just perfect. It wasn't even that hard of a punch, but it was just perfectly on the button. Rock Smith wobbled him. There the right hand. Another angle on that right cross. That second right hand was even better, Chris. And this is the danger. Look, Samways doesn't rush. He doesn't think, right, I've got it now. And that doesn't make him overcommit. So when he's got you under pressure, he doesn't give you the opportunity to catch a cold while he's getting too carried away. You will not see this man get carried away. Two of five here at London's York Hall. At this point, it would be hard to imagine this one going the distance, Mount, but Smith said he worked in his hands. Right now, I'm seeing that punch and clutch strategy. He's going to want to box his way into the clinch and avoid this kind of middle long distance. That's where Samways can command things to his advantage. But Smith has got to keep his hands up because he came in and he got clipped. Well, this is the thing. Smith is used, to, is used to the opposite. He's used to making you miss, using his superb movement, and then punishing you when you have missed. The problem here is Samways isn't getting carried away, and he's not missing. Big knee from Samways when they push together again as well. And he's a beast at the weight. I mean, look at him, Chris. Smith might be wise here to try to hang on him a lot. I mean, obviously, our referee isn't thrilled with the prospect of that strategy, but if he can tire Nick out, work him, take him into the third, maybe the fourth, maybe make Samways punch himself out. But the problem is if he stands in front of him, well, we saw the evidence last round. That's right, and he's body shots again, and here he comes again, powering in, working the shots to the body, working them then over the top. Technical combinations here from Samways. Nick Samways just showing off his experience right now. Yes, it's tough times in there for Jordan. As I said, very mobile fighter, very accurate, very clever fighter, but he's being really hurt in this second round again. Nick is looking for that lead left hook. Watch him either kind of use it as like a check hook or step into it. I think he still thinks that Smith is dropping that hand. And he stays there in the pocket as well, Chris. This is the danger for Smith. He's used to operating at range and having that movement. And then that movement gives him choices. Now, this is better. This is better from Smith. But what I was saying was that movement gives him all sorts of options. Samways is cleverly taking away those options by keeping him here. And you don't want to be there with Nick Samways. Nice jab there from Smith, but he just looks to be a little bit lost here. He's kind of out of position. He's not really in the most balanced way he could be to throw those strikes. And he's backing up. Right now, Samways is the aggressor. He's pulling into the ropes. And he's hurt again, Chris. He's hurt again. Heavy punches to body and head from Samways. Walking his man down inside leg. There's that left you alluded to, Chris. Left again. Right hand. We're going to get a counter. Smith is out. Smith is out. It's over, it's gotta be over. Well, he's counting him at the moment right above our commentary position, but he's keep, he's, he doesn't know where he is. Now it's all over, that's what I said to you. 
The power is scary of Nick Samways. Jordan Smith operates in space. Samways gave him no space. And you do not want this man sharing the same air as you when he's got that raw power. Nick Samways has taken Jordan Smith into the second round and forced a stoppage. And the man from St. Albans and still the champion tonight in Super Fight Series. The WKO world title successfully defended in London. Here, taking a look at the replay, Samways, it was that left. That left started it all off and then loading up for the right. Beautiful stoppage here. Nick Samways victorious in style at London's York Hall. We'll send things back into the ring to get the official announcement from our Master of Ceremonies, Malcolm Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, before I make the official announcement, this is the toughest sport in the world, please. Let's hear it for both your warriors in the ring. But we have your winner by way of KO in 248 in the second round. And still the champion of the world, Nick Samways. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your WKO world champion, Nick Samways, and still tonight. You went out there, you knew this guy could box, you took him apart in his own game. Yeah, I fought Wilco a couple of times from the same gym. Uh, we sort of knew what they'd be looking for because we fought him a couple of times, you know. Um, and uh, we just worked around that. Worked a few uh, coming in with the fakes rather than uh, so direct. Um, and uh, it worked, he was getting shots, getting shots through. And you were using that left, you were stepping into it, using like a check hook. Beautiful stuff there. Again, it was that left that was the key. You knew that hand was coming down. How did you set it up? Was that a weakness that you saw? Uh, it wasn't weakness, just a strong point of mine. The uh, left hook to the head, left hook to the body. We knew they'd be watching for that, so we had to set it up with the fakes to come in first with it, and uh, it, it paid off. Paid off. Nick, it was a cool performance tonight. You still have the belt around your waist. Any final words to the fans, and what happens next? Uh, thanks a lot, everyone, for coming. Uh, supports everything in this sport. Uh, if, you, if you don't put seats on bums, then uh, you're not, not going to get very far, you know? So we're we'll putting a good, entertaining fight every time. And uh, yeah, fill this place up. <laughs> Nick, congratulations one more time. You're the winner tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your call once more, Nick Samways.